Yeah, I mean, obviously that's good for us. Um, you know, making progress in, in that regards. Obviously, you know, if you look back at the course of the game, just those first that first quarter, we just gotta gotta be better at and uh, you know execute better there and and all that stuff. But you know, obviously, you know, we responded, we fought back, and you know, it just sucks that we came up short. Have things been clicking more consistently in practice than you know, just making reps? Yeah. No, I think. Yeah, I think. Um, you know, as we've gotten more reps with Justin and, you know, kind of having had him at the helm and, and things and whatnot, uh, things have just naturally been getting better and kind of having a feel for each other, you know, not only me, but I think the other receivers as well. And, you know, we're just kind of getting better in that. So I think that's going to keep progressing as the year goes on. How did Justin look to you in the second half, especially compared to the first? I thought Paul looked really effective. Yeah, he really settled down, I think, in the second half and just more confident in what he was, what he was seeing. And, in his throws and whatnot, and you know, on the sideline, just being talkative to us and all that. So, um, yeah, he just really settled down. Well, both Matt and Darnell really rested with Justin, even in this, to have that opportunity behind in the fourth quarter. Going what did you observe in, the, in that regard? Yeah, he was ready to go. You know, um, I didn't think he was over eager at all, and um, in terms of you know his plays and whatnot, and um, thought he did a good job of showing poise in the huddle, keeping everybody calm, and you know, just saying the play, calling us, executing. So, um, obviously, that was a good bright spot at the end. For you, for you individually to get some volume tonight, yeah. how, how does that feel? Is it just kind of yeah, no, it's good. I mean, obviously, um, you know, as me and Justin get, you know, more acquainted and, you know, more rest with one another, I think that's just going to continue to grow. So, obviously, good for the both of us and, uh, you know, for the other receivers as well. You know, like I was saying, in practice, things have been a little bit better and um, just kind of having a better feel for each other in the game. Yeah, obviously, you know, not where you want it to be, uh, sitting at three and six, right? Yeah, three and six now. Um, so you want it to be better, you know. I think if we come out in the first quarter and we just, you know, we settle down and execute, it's a different different result at the end of the game. Um, so I think as I think as we just keep going, we just got to keep keep going to work, keep progressing, and you know, kind of go from there. Yeah, I think so. Um, you know, I think I think there's there's some facets of us, you know, trying to find out what we're comfortable with a lot of the times, and you know, we we've been figuring that out here and there, and so hopefully, you know, we kind of take this time during the bye week to really reflect on what's been working for us and what we can kind of get back to. You talked about Justin uh, being eager. How has he changed in terms of being vocal with the offense as opposed to his first start to now? Yeah, I think um, just how he handled himself in the huddle and on the sideline as well, too. You know, coming up to us, telling us what he sees and, you know, what coverage is he seeing, how he wants us to run certain routes, things like that. So, um, you know, he's been really good about that, t- kind of taking charge with that instead of just having coaches tell us what to do. Um, he's been good about coming over to us and, and explaining what he wants. Uh, since we had this play, do we do it in left, uh, reverse stuff, uh, that's how you get on quarterback. But what was our, for you with that, when he's moving to his left, is he, yeah, I think that's something that we're we're still getting a feel for as well um, in terms of you know when he's going to run it, when he's going to pass it, um, and the endless scramble rules, and that just kind of comes with with practice and and play time with him. So, um, but you know it's pretty impressive when he makes those throws like the one he had to Mooney in the end zone and and things like that. So, you know he's going to continue to do that, and you know we'll continue to, to try and find voids in the defense to to be available for him. Okay, thanks everybody. Cool.